Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jairo. Today I'm here at Tres Trapi and we are going to do some snorkeling and compare the Tres Trapi to the Boca Catalina. Let's go. So one of the first things that I want to point out is that the sea turtles are mostly seen here. We don't know if we're going to get the opportunity today, but we're going to swim look for them but one of the things that's very important also is that not to touch them not to chase them when you are swimming anywhere like not just here but anywhere that you see turtles don't be chasing them one of the cool things about the Tres Trapi is how clear the waters are and that's one of the main reasons why people love to swim here not just for snorkeling but just swimming in general and today is no exception I am going to change and bring my snorkeling equipment and start doing the actual snorkeling for, for you guys today water is super clear super nice and uh, occasionally when it's uh, you know like a little bit windy you can find some waves so Occasionally, ever so slightly, it does get a little bit difficult to get into the water over here. But apart from that, it looks really good. And usually the turtles can be seen from like here on out. So we're gonna look for them today. But we are heading and checking out this beautiful and sunny, beautiful day. Within less than a minute, I already spotted my first turtle. This is their home and feeding grounds, so it's important to keep your distance. But every so often, they can also get curious and come swim fairly close to you. If that happens, stay calm and enjoy that moment. If you spot any trash while snorkeling, please do your best to pick it up and take it with you. It is utmost important to the survival of these beautiful creatures.
may be lucky to spot interesting fish, snorkeling at Tristrapi is mostly to swim with these turtles. I could probably spend hours and hours just watching them. We are now heading to the nearby Boca Catalina, which is only about 200 meters further up. So now we are at the Boca Catalina. This is the part where I prefer to, to swim in. On this side of things, on the other side, which is closer to the Tristrapi. Uh, usually gets really crowded over here. Uh, usually it's less crowded. Uh, it is, uh, you do get some of these stones on these rocks getting in, but after that it's all smooth and a lot of tropical fish on this side. Worth noting that normally over here is where all of the catamaran boats are, you know, stopping for the snorkeling trip. This is one of the spots, and if you look good, take a good look, you can already see many of the fish. I'm gonna go underwater to let you see them. If you are not swimming with fins at Boca Catalina, I would recommend you to use a water shoe because of the sea urchin that can be found around this area. Despite being so close, snorkeling at these two beaches can be very different. You can get lucky and spot sea turtles here too, but it's less likely.
With this, we conclude the Tres Trapi vs. Boca Catalina Beach. Let me know which one you like the best and why. My personal recommendation is to visit both unless you are on a limited schedule on the island. In that case, I do hope that this video has been very useful to you. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and share. See you next time guys. Bye bye.